Hello, I'm Karen and I own the Kate Tower and today we're going to carry on working with our bride and groom. I personally like to put both of their eyes in and then work on one at a time. So, I'm just going to get some of my white which I've already prepared this morning so they can put their eyes into place. So I'm just going to move those out of the way. A tiny bit of white icing and I'm going to take off a really really small amount and a petit pois size then I'm going to cut that in half so that's even smaller and then I'm going to cut that in half again so we've got really tiny tiny pieces there and there and I'm going to get my bride I'm just going to try the eye in the socket first just to make sure that it's going to fit without being whoopsie daisy I mean too big I think maybe I can take a tiny bit more off each of these. There. This is really tiny, tiny pieces. I'm just going to get. <coughs> sorry. I'm just going to get a tiny bit of the boiled water and put it into the eye sockets and put the eyes into place and make sure that they sit in nicely see that and her other eye there and there we go she's got her eyes into place and bring back the groom and we'll just try this for size first because he does look like he's got deeper eye sockets but it will leave his eye really quite bulging out so I am going to trim a little bit more off these as well so I'm just going to take a tiny piece off and a tiny piece off that one roll them back into tiny little balls there get the groom again just check this is quite fiddly but it's worth it I've just brushed some of the boiled water off onto my hand again into the eye sockets I'm just going to make sure that's back into a round ball again and slot that into place there and that one into place there and there we go he's got his eyes can we see that there <coughs> I'm going to put the groom and the bride out of the way for one minute while I just get my yellow icing because my bride and groom have actually both got blonde hair so I've mixed up Wow, that looks really shockingly bright in here. It isn't, it is not that bright. This is a, a golden yellow that I've created and I've added some white to it to lighten it up. I'm going to get a little bit of corn flour just to help prevent my hands from sticking to my work. And I'm going to give that a little bit of a knead. And then I'm going to bring the bride back. I'm going to get some more of my boiled water, most of it off on the back of my hand, and then I'm going to be brushing around. I need to make sure that it goes all over her head, and <coughs> sorry, I'm still tickly. And here, where I'm going to do the eyebrows, and because she's got a longer hair, I'm going to go into the back of her neck and just come down her dress a little bit onto her shoulders just across the chest slightly there 
and her ears just to try and make sure that it's going to stick and then I'm going to have to break off even smaller amounts now to do her eyebrows so and to start off with a small piece and then cut that in half and put that away to one side oops it's easy so I have a really really tiny piece there and get that piece there and that's still too big like I said with <coughs> with the bespoke items it is all practice trial and error I'm sorry I'm just going to move her out of the way so I don't knock her I'm just going to try that and look at my hand and think mm, it looks a little bit big actually for her eyebrow so I am going to cut this one in half so it's really tiny you can barely see it these are like the sizes of pips inside grapes very very small and then you want to just rock it and to make it so it's more pointed at one end than the other and then we're just gently going to fix that into place there when we see that we've got a strange light going off this morning and the same for the opposite side oops it easy very tiny pieces and there we just need to make sure that they're nice and level, we don't want them skew iffy. Well, can we see that? There. <clears throat> now then, my bride has got long hair, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to break off some pieces of my icing and I'm going to try and keep them roughly the same sort of size so that when I do a hair, it's going to be balanced. Um, you can people do ask you for different hairstyles where they've got it short to one side or the other but this one there's no specifics which is nice so I can design a hair how I feel will look nice for the day there so we've got our pieces one's a little bit big I'm just going to put those to one side, bring the bride back to there maybe. Now I'm going to roll these pieces and what I do is I actually use the um, <coughs> the the actual lines on my hand as measurements so when I make a piece and I say oh okay then that's about that big and then I'll keep on working from that point so that all my pieces are roughly the same sort of size I'm just going to do a couple of pieces first there. I'm just rolling them making them thinner at one end than the other there now I'll get my bride back and have a look how long is this going to make a hair it's not actually going to make it too long so I'm going to just extend these pieces just that little bit longer and all I'm doing is as as I'm actually rolling I'm spreading my fingers out which is actually extending the pieces so that they become longer And this actually is probably 
One of the most time consuming pieces of your work is putting all the hair into place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the centre of, of her head. I'm going to put a piece down and I'm going to twist it because I'm going to give her hair a curl. Just like a little wave as it comes down. Just so that we've got kind of a wave like a ponytail there at the back. And then I'm going to put a piece at the side, twist some more, and come around and stick that piece at the side there. And there. Oops. And then, because I'm coming to the opposite side, now I want to start twisting in the opposite direction just to help everything sit into place. So we've got some twists going off at the back of the head there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little knife tool and I'm going to be indenting. I'm not pressing too hard because remember she has got a thin neck and we don't want to snap this off but the icing is nice and soft so we're just going to give the indents into the hair just to make it look more realistic but also this will stick the actual icing to the head so it's more secure. So I'm just going to do that bit at the <coughs> sorry. Do that bit all the way around there first. Then I'm going to pick her up and I'm going to support her face. Um trying not to knock her nose off. But don't worry, obviously you're still in the modelling stages so if you actually do knock her nose off you can still replace her nose. And then I'm just going to come down with the lines and I'm going to join the pieces together because as you can see there it looks like she's got a baldy patch. So I'm going to tip her that way and then just gently push these pieces into place. There. There. It's looking nice. It's looking rather strange from the front, but that's okay. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a little bit more of the boiled water, rubbing most of it off on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to moisten this top edge there. And what I'm going to do with this piece here is I want to bring this down as part of her fringe so um, I'm going to take it that she's got a centre part in and I'm going to put that piece there put it down and then twist it as it comes down and we can see that as I'm twisting just to give her that little curl at the front there and then I will then Use my tool again and indent and put the hair lines in so that this is now sticking more securely to her face. There. Now I've got this bit is wandering, so I'm just going to put a bit of boiled water there and just stick that piece into place because I don't want a piece to be sticking out and to. Um, get snapped off during the postage. So I'm just getting another piece now to do for the opposite side and bring her back and then I'm going to put that into place. She's actually ended up with more of a side part and I'm just going to hold her up a minute. Whoa, nearly dropped her. And then I'm twisting the hair 
as I move it around just to oops, try and give it that realistic finish and a little bit of a curl and I'm going to indent again and coming down This bit is wandering, so I'm going to just put a bit of boiled water there just to secure that piece there. Now we can see that her, her ears are sticking out. Some people like to actually have their ears sticking out, and some people don't. Um, on this side, I can see it's looking like she's more of a baldy patch there, so I'm just going to add an extra piece of hair. But this one I'm going to do it just a bit thinner. So I'm rolling that and then but I'm still going to do it the same sort of length. It's just that little bit thinner this piece. So because I'm adding what I need to do is I need to moisten just to make sure that it all stick to the existing hair. And then that can go into place there. And that can come down. I can twist this into place there. See how that's gone? And then we're going to get another piece, small piece again, because I'm filling in areas so I want this to be thin at both ends so we've got a tapered edge and the tapered edge is going to go into that gap there and again I'm going to twist again to follow the pattern of the way that the hair is falling and gently tuck that into place there and then we're just going to blend it in together by indenting into her hair. Now I'm making it look actually like it's a little bit strange looking at the back there. So I'm just going to add a few little pieces over the top just to balance that out. So they're only going to be thin pieces. And so I'm rolling it out into a nice sausage shape. We only need thin, small pieces for the hair. I know that some people actually um, like to do it in a block and then put all the indents in but everybody has their own preference so if that's how you prefer to do it then fine um, like I said before there's no exact right and wrong way with this except I would say for actually making the modelling nice in itself because that really does need you to have your measurements correct you don't want your icing too soft that it takes forever to set but you also don't want it too stiff that you can hardly work with it and it's drying out in your hands as you're using it right so I've tidied up the side pieces but it's still leaving like I said look, we've got the straight line across the back there so I'm just going to add couple more pieces and I'm just going to make sure that I'm spreading the, the water down her hair just so that where wherever this bit particularly falls took that bit in there that it will actually stick to the hair that's actually there so this one I'm going to go from the center again and twizzle it over the top just to help it look more realistic I think 
I need another one or even maybe two like I said at the beginning this is trial and error keep adding it on until you feel that 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 looks acceptable and pretty and there we go one more piece I'm going to put that into there that looks nice right so because I've got these pieces over the top now I'm just going to just indent the joining parts near the top just to help with the actual sticking of the ice in and making it look like a more natural hairline So there she is with her beautiful hairstyle, looking lovely. Maybe I took that piece in there and took that piece near to her ear. Oops, a little bit more of a line there. And there we have it. Our beautiful bride with her curly hair. I think we could put another piece in there, I think. One more piece. That's too big. I'm just going to moisten into this area here and just do one more little bit just to help balance it out when she's actually when you're looking at her at the front she looked like she was a bit lopsided with her hair so just tuck that in there blend in the end with the lines and there and there we go that's better she looks beautiful right so that's the end of doing her hair and the next stage is to actually move on to the groom so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this video now and then restart another video okay thank you for watching